Hi, I'm going to go over some tips on cleaning hand blown glass. It's generally a simple thing to do, but I'm going to give a few pointers and some things to be aware of so you don't damage your glass and to make cleaning your hand blown art glass uh, as easy as possible. Uh, a couple things to be aware of and not to do is put it in the dishwasher. Uh, the heat from the dishwasher can cause the glass to crack unless the artist says it's okay to put it in a dishwasher or if you're not sure I recommend always cleaning it by hand but not the dishwasher. Two, you want to avoid abrasive cleaners. Abrasive cleaners like Brillo pads and cleansers can scratch the glass. The glass is actually a lot softer than what most people would think it is. Um, uh, dirt, debris can scratch glass quite easily. Third thing is you want to avoid wearing jewelry because once again the jewelry when you're handling it could cause damage to the glass could cause scratches so we don't want to wear jewelry if at all possible when you're handling and cleaning glass so that being said we're going to start out with the simplest things first the simplest thing that I do is if, if it may just if it hasn't been handled it just may need a simple dusting with a feather duster uh, something along those lines for dusting areas that may have a lot of relief I recommend using a dry paintbrush. That way you can get into those areas. After that, if you have a lot of fingerprints, simple clean lint-free paper towels and glass cleaner works quite well. Um, I generally recommend, I, I like to just spray the glass cleaner onto the paper towel and then once again we don't want to scratch the glass so you want to take off your jewelry. You want to take off your jewelry before doing this. Okay, so now I'm just going to rub the glass and that should clean it. Um, likewise, with frosted and sandblasted glass, uh, you may get some fingerprints. Now, most of the glass that we make, we put a protective coating to help keep. Uh, oily fingerprints from really penetrating into the sandblaster or frosted glass. And once again, you can just use a paper towel with a little bit of Windex on it or glass cleaner. And that should get rid of any fingerprints that you may have. However, glass that hasn't had that doesn't have a protective surface that we put on uh, that's frosted may be a little more difficult to clean those fingerprints and may be a little bit more difficult to, to, to clean the, the frosted part of the glass. And I'm going to show you in, in the other room uh, the way that I go about washing the glass so that you can, and the simplest way to probably get most greasy fingerprints off of sandblasted or frosted glass. Okay, so when washing glass, especially sandblasted or frosted glass that may have some oily fingerprints uh, embedded a little bit more. I find, ironically enough, the easiest way to get rid of those fingerprints is not chemicals and acetone and stuff like that. It's simple dishwashing liquid and maybe lukewarm water. Not hot water, similar to a dishwasher, but lukewarm water. Now, before I begin, one of my other tips is I like to use either a foam pad that you find in gardening supplies or stores uh, something along those lines that I can actually lay down at the bottom of the sink so this way if the piece slips because it can be slippery once we put some soap on there um, it may help in case you accidentally drop it though you do want to be careful so I'll actually literally just liberally put some of this soap get it moist and I'll put this soap, turn this water down just a little bit, but I'm going to get the soap on here and this is going to help, ironically enough, get rid of some of these oily fingerprints and once again I have this sitting in the pad, on the pad and I'm very careful because it will be slippery and sometimes a scratch-free pad, and it's similar to the scratch-free pad for Teflon pans, you can use this as long as it's scratch-free to really help 
get that oil from the fingerprints off. And then just simply rinsing the glass off really well. Is also kind of key here. You want to make sure you don't have to get all the soap off. Okay, now I'm going to show you probably one of my last tips once your piece is still wet and it's done being washed. So let me come over to my table and then we're going to show you a last tip. Okay, my last tip after washing glass, and especially sandblasted glass or frosted glass, but almost any glass in particular, is when the water dries, if you don't wipe it off and let it dry, sometimes the minerals in your average tap water uh, can create water stains on the glass surface. Um, sometimes it's not visible, sometimes it is. So I recommend, instead of just letting it dry, is to actually either take some paper towels or a soft lint-free cloth and you know, dry it, the excess water especially, you don't have to get it bone dry, but the excess water off of there. So then this way you don't create any water stains. So as you can see, I'm pretty much drying it pretty well. And at that point, you should generally, as you can see, as this is now drying, you have a nice, your glass is nice and clean uh, with uh, not a lot of effort. And like I said, most of the time, a simple dusting works great. Sometimes a little Windex on a paper towel, um, and then sometimes you may have to hand wash it. Um, but when you do do that, do it with care. All right, thank you very much.